a quick recap what are the adjustments that we discussed the adjustments were one was with respect to income tax income tax is shown as drawings in the case of a sole proprietorship this is because as income tax authorities are not, do not segregate the income of the uh, proprietor and the income of the business the proprietor is charged income tax on all of his income so if the business has paid if the business has paid the income tax of the proprietor such payment is not treated as an expense but it is treated as drawings 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 being the money which is withdrawn by the proprietor what are the other adjustments we discussed accrual concept and discussed outstanding expenses prepaid expenses accrued income and income received in advance and income received in advance outstanding expense was a liability income received in advance is a liability because we owed money here or we owed services prepaid expense is an asset accrued income is an asset because we because what was receivable either services or cash was receivable so as per the accrual concept all expenses and income for the current year must be brought into the books whether actually paid or actually paid or not or received or not <clears throat> therefore with respect at the end of the year we may have to make certain adjustments for outstanding expenses prepaid expenses accrued income or income received in advance next we had understood managers commission managers commission commission may be based on a percentage of profit this is to incentivize give some kind of incentive to a manager for improving the profits this commission could be computed on profits before charging such commission or profits after charging such commission <clears throat> accordingly we would make the computations next we did provision for bad debts we did bad debts and provision for bad debt bad debt is an amount which is receivable but we are sure cannot be recovered and therefore written off as a bad debt and taken as an expense or loss to the profit and loss account and what is a provision whenever we expect a debt to become bad in future there is it's a doubtful debt we make a provision for it as per the conservatism concept <clears throat> any anticipated losses are provided for as per the conservatism concept so how do we make a provision for doubtful debts by debiting the profit and loss account profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts <clears throat> bad debt if any is written off to the provision for doubtful debts this provision sometimes is computed as a percentage on debtors and if that is the case if it is computed as a percentage then debtors less all bad debts it's on the net balance of debtors that provision for doubtful debts would be computed as a percentage then we had provision for discount on debtors what did we do with respect to provision for discount on debtors again it if it is computed as a percentage then it is taken as debtors less bad debts less provision for doubtful debts the net balance after providing for doubtful debts percentage is taken on those debtors this is because a uh, discount would only be offered to the customers from whom early payment is expected <clears throat> and we also discussed how these appear in the balance sheet how these appear in the balance sheet debtors less bad debts less provision for doubtful debts less provision for discount on debtors